All right, so I'm going to show you how to create this 3D pop-out effect, very similar to the previous tutorial. Um, basically, it's just two images, and um, you can see this is the just cropped and kind of combined. So if we look at this here, you can see there's one image, there's a second image. So we just duplicated the image and did different things to them. So let's go ahead and start here. So the first thing we want to find is an image where it works to, to knock something out. Um, what we're going to do here on this image is we're going to create the frame of that photo laying on the table look. And on this image, what we want to do is we're going to crop out what we want to stick out. And we need to clean out the background. Now, PowerPoint has a remove background feature. It works okay, but it's a little fuzzy sometimes. So if, if this doesn't work for you in PowerPoint, you can always do remove background in a different tool and bring it in. So uh, that's up to you. So let's go ahead and do this first. So we're going to click on here. Let's go ahead and apply a format. And it doesn't really matter what you want to apply. We'll just do this. Uh, we'll do this picture frame. We'll do the fat picture frame here. Um, so we've got the fat, fat picture frame here. Uh, what we're going to do now is going to go to crop to shape. We want to have it have that kind of laying down look. So we'll go with the trapezoid. So that gives us a sense of depth, right? And you can play around uh, with how deep you want that to be. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to crop this shape down to where you want him sticking out. So let's just go ahead. Um, let's just go ahead and do this. We're going to have it down here close to his knees. All right. And so then you can play around with, you know, this part of it, right? And again, this might not be deep enough. Uh, so you could actually crop it. I'm going to crop it up a little bit just because I, it's not quite, I want it a little bit deeper looking. Okay. So that works right there. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to um, crop this. So um, these are the exact same size. They're positioned the same. So I can crop it you know, to the image here. And since we're going to remove the background, we don't need all this stuff. Let's just go ahead and crop all this stuff out of here too. This is just extra stuff that we don't really need a PowerPoint to do any calculations on. Okay. So we've got this here. What we're going to do is just slide this over here. And uh, this should really just map to this here, somewhere in there. Now, obviously, we need to do a better job cropping. But let's go ahead. Let's zoom in a little. Let's crop it to the white line first. And you can just crop it down here, right? You can see how that works. If it's not going quite right. There's a couple things you could do. You can use the Alt key and drag it, and that makes it a little bit uh, more pixel by pixel. Or you can draw a guideline, and then you'd be able to snap it uh, to the line. Um, what I probably could do is crop it just a little bit more. Oops. That's, just, that's not what I want to do. Hold the Alt key down. And we'll just call that good, even though it still looks like it's a little tight, but that's okay. So this looks pretty close, I think, to where it's matched up. Um, I could probably nudge it a little bit, but we won't worry about that. So now what we want to do is remove the background here. So let's go ahead, click on this picture. You have the remove background. It's pretty straightforward. You know, PowerPoint's kind of guessing what needs to be removed. Um, it does a pretty decent job. Uh, we want to keep his arm, obviously. We want to remove this. So you've got an option to select areas to keep and select areas you want to remove. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom in a little, right, so we can get a little bit closer. And we're going to mark areas to keep. And I'm just going to click and drag and see what PowerPoint. You can see it looks kind of fuzzy, right? All right. Um, uh, there you go. We're going to have to... We can fine tune this. All right. And this is why maybe doing this in a different app works a little bit better. Um, and you can see, okay, we got this. Now let's go ahead and mark areas we want to remove. And, you know, PowerPoint's fine for this general stuff. But you when know, you get a really detailed image like this, it's a little bit more challenging to do the removal stuff. But for this purpose of this tutorial, this template, it's, or this uh, tutorial is going to be fine. 
All right, I want to try to get his arm because it looks like his arm is getting cut off. Let's just do that. Now let's see if we can mark area to remove. And uh, it seems like it just catches that. We'll say, well, we'll just try to get this here. We'll say this looks fine. Uh, we're going to close it out here. And you can see, now you can see it's not perfect, right? You get the kind of this fuzziness on here. But this kind of gives you the uh, general idea with this. And then if we zoom out, you can kind of see how that works. Now, a couple things you'll notice, and this is part of PowerPoint. PowerPoint, when it does this conversion, you can see it kind of changes the color of the pants a little bit. You can even notice it here on the one I did earlier. Uh, let's see here. You can see there's just a slight color shift in the blue shirt, right? So you're going to get the same thing here on the pants. There's really not that much that you can do with that. And I think this is probably closer to the way it should match up. And you can see it's a little fuzzy. And that's just because PowerPoint's not really made to to do that much. But when it's zoomed out, you don't really notice it. But that gives you the general idea, right? So you're basically taking two images, cropping them, and doing this 3D or this lay down kind of trapezoid look, and that gives you that 3D effect. Let's go ahead and play around with that. A lot of neat things you can do uh, with this effect and kind of add some dynamic images uh, to your slides and to your courses.